Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to X3 Albion Prelude. I'm Afro Luigi, and while I don't have a quest marker for it, we just got a message from Admiral Kiana Giorno. I have no idea how I'd, I'm probably pronouncing that really wrong. Um, Kan Onan, this is Admiral. I should change my user, my name here. This is Admiral Chiana Gorio of USC High Command. We've been monitoring your <laughs> war efforts. <laughs> uh, I'm more of an opportunist. I go and kill a few fires, salvage some loot, sell it. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, we've been monitoring your war efforts for some time now and are very impressed with the tremendous ability you have shown in defending the Terran border sectors. We are planning a highly classified mission in which we believe your talents would be perfect for. If you are interested, report to the Orbital Defense Station in the moon. Admiral Giorno, out. So, Transorbital that's where we're going. Accelerator, the moon. Off to the moon. Apparently our USC at our ATF access codes don't really matter here because I've came all the way up to Venus and I don't think I have Venus access. Yeah, I'm still only Mar I still only have Oh, I have Venus access now. Um, so we'll see what happens when I enter the moon. Cuz I don't think the Terrans are going to be too happy. So, we'll hopefully we might have to pop in and out. What is the Kyoto doing? Okay, we didn't die. So let's see what happens when we enter the moon. Entering system, autopilot off. Military base. Orbital defense station. Solar power plant, XL Beta, shipyard. Solar power plant, XL, USC orbital supply base. Orbital defense station. Where did they say to go? Uh, do, 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 do orbital defense station. So we're crossing the sector? Because I'm still not seeing a map marker. Oh, a mission marker, I should say. Hopefully this didn't bug out on us. Can't calm yet. We gotta wait till we're within 25 kilometers. Oh, so there's another defense station that I didn't see. Nope. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Maybe we have to dock? Well, I issued the dock order anyways. Let's get nice and close and see what happens. Apparently the autopilot's already taking us into dock. Unless the mission message was wrong and the this admiral person spawned somewhere else. And you are talking. Oh. Got something to say, pilot. There she is. So yeah, let's just come into dock and see what happens. <laughs> and we Oh, the Terran sectors. There's the docking lights. I do have a jump drive and a full load of energy cells, so wherever we go next we can just jump there, unless I haven't explored it yet. If we have to go through Argon space, that's gonna be um it's gonna be an adventure. Successfully docked. Greetings, friend. We bid you a connection to got something to say, Pot. Oh, here we go. Thank you for coming, Kane Onan. Please follow the brief. Uh, please note the following briefing is top secret. The departure for the trans incoming message. In the initial years following the reunion of Terran and Commonwealth governments, many diplomatic ships visited our territory. Although the USC High Command was always careful about releasing information and technologies to the Commonwealth races, it did not take long for them to show their true colors. 
promises were broken, research agreements abandoned, and classified technology stolen. We are certain that some of these <laughs> we stole some of those technologies in the last series, in that well, last game. We are certain that some of these stolen technologies were used to invade the Terran sectors in the recent conflicts to destroy the Taurus and to kill thousands of innocent Terran people. We cannot allow the Commonwealth to retain these technologies. To that end, USC High Command has decided to reacquire them, and we need you to fulfill this task. All right. Incoming message. Interesting. So, uh, it's Terran research data, stolen technologies, experimental shuttle, an old test shuttle used to experiment using an experimental point-to-point -point jump drive. The original shuttle was most likely destroyed, but according to rumors, a replica was sighted in the community planets not long ago. Location unknown. Unfocused jump drive. An experimental point-to-point -point jump drive built by the Goners. Given the Goners' involvement with the original experimental shuttle, their unfocused jump drive may be based on its upon its point-to-point -point drive technology. Current location. Goner territory. Multifunctional ship equipment function. Interesting. Add upgrade for new ship production facilities, enabling more efficient equipping of new ships. The plans for the multifunctional ship equipment functions were stored in the databases of the Taurus, and they were believed lost during its destruction. But evidence to the contrary leads us to believe that the Boron gained access to them. Current location, Boron, tech, Boron Territory. Oh boy. Uh, USC High Command, Agents in the Community Planets. Lieutenant Patricia Hay- Hey, I think Patricia Haywood is from her previous game. Her duty is requisition stolen Terran technologies. Located, she's located in Brennan's Triumph. Captain Robert Pearl, another name from X3 Terran Conflict, I'm pretty sure. Analysis of Commonwealth Technologies to investigate links to Terran developments. Ladies Location and in Heretics End. Administration would like to remind you to keep children away from the airlines. Uh, Ensign Val Jorman, deep operative cover, uh, deep cover operation operative, currently tasked with monitoring boron fleet movements. My current location in Great Trench. Name Lieutenant Kyle Keller. Field of duty monitoring Commonwealth fleet movements and currently based in Jin's Escape. All right. We have provided you with the list of our stolen technologies, which are scattered throughout the universe. Your job is to find out what the Commonwealth races know about these technologies and where possible reacquire them. Your ship computer will provide you with additional information. If USC invol involvement in this is in eh, if USC involvement in this is discovered by the Commonwealth governments, it could draw more races into the conflict. So we will be unable to render any direct assistance or backup for this task. In short, you'll be on your own. The only assistance we can provide is access to our network of agents within the Commonwealth. While several of our agents were killed or captured in the war, those that maintain their cover still possess valuable information, which will surely help your mission. Good luck, pilot. USC High Command and the whole Terran Society counts on you. Uh, Admiral Giorno, out. No pressure whatsoever. I should have written that stuff down, it looks like, because there is no fleet guidance now. But I don't want to go there Receiving right Receiving upgrade information for database. Incoming message. Oh, that's, there's going to be a lot of reading this episode, apparently. So, historical data. Uh, 2905 AD. A terraformer vessel enters the solar system with no indication of any ter additional terraformers nearby. Terran pilots uh, Alice McCallum and John Friedman aboard salvage ship RII-4 begin recovery operations. Unfortunately, the terraformer is still active and managed to destroy the RII-4 uh, and its two pilots, but not before receiving critical damage. Four days later, the USC Eldridge managed to recover the remains of both RII-4 and the terraformer ship. Analysis of the terraformer ship uncovers a previously unknown piece of technology, a jump drive capable of performing jumps without the need to exit through a jump gate. In an attempt to discover where the terraformer ship came from and to evaluate the potential danger, the Terran government decides to reverse engineer and recreate its own prototype of the point-to-point -point jump drive. So, seven years later in 291280, um, an experimental test shuttle known quickly quickly eh, I'm not even going to try that one again, as simply experimental, or the X-shuttle in the novels, um, is built, or actually X, I think, in the actual novel, is built and equipped with the prototype point-to-point -point jump drive. Chosen for the te first test flight is Captain Kyle William Brennan. The first jump fails, and contact with both Brennan and his ship is lost. In an attempt to recover Captain Brennan, Major Elena Co. is sent to trace his ship, but is lost as well. After losing two experienced pilots, the Terran government ceases research into the point-to-point -point jump drive project. Instead, the creation of a large defensive fleet is authorized in order to prepare for the imminent return of the terraformers. Now, f 24 years later, 2936 AD, 
The Earth gate reactivates unexpectedly, following more than 20 years of build-up. The Terran fleets are prepared to repulse an attack, but despite expectations, it is the races of the community of planets, today known as the Commonwealth, who make contact with Earth and not the terraformers. Captain Kyle William Brennan and Major Elena Co. return to Earth. From the information we've gathered from Captain Brennan and Major Co., we know that the experimental was dis dismantled by the Gunners in order to reverse engineer the jump drive. Although Captain Brennan and Major Co. also attempted to recreate the jump drive during their time in the Community Planets, even founding their own corporation by the name of TerraCorp for this purpose, neither they nor the Commonwealth races managed to build anything capable of reproducing the results. But now a replica of the experimental has been sighted, while as yet it has only been possible to confirm that this replica visually resembles the old experimental, we cannot discount the possibility that it also holds information on the original's experimental point-to-point -point jump drive, and so the Department of Reacquisition was tasked with locating and securing that vessel. Okay, is that it? Shadow Missile Construction Facility. Transorbital Accelerator. Earth. Alright, now we are going to attempt to make it to um, Goner Space for now. Jump device charging at 10%. 20. 30. 40. 50%. 60. 70, 80, 90, jumping. Dun dun dun. There we go. System, asteroid belt. Oops, I jumped to the wrong system. So let us, uh, Correct that little mistake. Jump device charging at 10%. 20, 30, 40. Let's try that again. And we are going to try and make it to Heretics end in this, is, in this mission through the Argon War sectors, and they are not going to be happy with us trying to navigate through there at all. Of course, the first thing I hear is a missile as the sector loads. Entering system. Circle alert. Oh boy. Speak of the devil. Uh. Protect ship. Flail Argon. Rapid response. Minotaur. Well, at least we're faster than it. Oh boy, there's more things back there. You know what? Uh. Oh boy, there's some. Um, uh, there's a fleet action going on over there. I see uh, Osaka and two Argon destroyers. All right, I'm gonna have to kill that fighter. There's no way to avoid that thing. Discoverer. Missed and okay, that's handled. Oh boy, they just took out an Osaka. Or mine, M Alpha. Or mine, M Alpha. Terran, Katana, Terran, Argon, Rapid Response, Titan. Or mine M Alpha. We're just gonna uh Alert. Missile oh. closing. That uh what is that? Oh that M eight does not like us. Argon rapid response Tomahawk heavy missile. Oh boy, those missiles are quick. Come on, if I can just target that jump gate. I went to mute my mic and I accidentally stopped recording, so I just picked up exactly where we left off. You literally did not miss anything. And we are going to, um, hope. Asteroid.
Tomahawk heavy missile. I do have rear turrets, right? Yep. Yeah, right. No, I do not apparently. Target is now in firing range. Tomahawk heavy missile. Tomahawk heavy missile. Target is now in firing range. Come on. Perfect. Argon. Rapid response. Gladiator alert. Missile closing. Of course, that um, that M8 does not want us does not want to let us go. Oh god, more? Is that another rapid response? Argon. Rapid response. Yep. Colossus. Gate. Omicron Lyrae. You know what? We're just gonna keep going. Um, actually, can I? No, I can't get shoot straight back from there. How about from up here? Nope. Oh, that that will work. Tomahawk heavy missile. Oh, wait, do I? Oh. Okay, let us. Um. Alert! Missile closing. Electromag. Electromagnetic. There, that'll help. Gate. Omicron. Lyrene. Alert, alert, alert. Missile closing. Oh, that carrier is now. Um, what's it shooting at us? Hurricane missile. Oh, Argon. it is, um, Discovery. we are within firing range of it. You know what? Uh, it's time to, uh, ditch just trying to, uh... Alert, missile closing. Yeah, I'm not going to go back and try and claim that fighter. No way, no how. Yeah, that, that, that's gone. That's... No, I'm not going to try and salvage that. Circle of labor. And in fact... We're just leaving. Now for a core sector to cross. <laughs> oh boy. I heard a missile fire. Entering system. Omicron Lyrene. That's an OTAS vessel. This is Argon Security. Leave this sector immediately. Your current status prohibits you from entering our core sectors. Failure to leave will result in lethal force being directed against you. You have one minute to comply. Um, I thought I had a minute. I thought you guys were going to give me a minute. Oh, so much for my minute, so... Oh, I can charge... Uh. Jump device charging at 10%. 20. One down, another sector down. We are, I think, two jumps away. We just got to get through that jump gate we just jumped to, and then the, another sector to cross. Entering that's a lot of destroyers. So, um, oh, that's another destroyer right there. Oh, boy. It's going to be, uh, I might take the long way to um, Boron Space or... Uh, Brennan's triumph. I might go. Entering system, oh boy. Treasure chest. Oh boy, that that carrier just launched Spider's craft. Uh oh. Elysium of light. It looks like we're actually gonna make it. Missile closing.
Alert. Missile closing. Typhoon missile. This is, um, oh boy. <laughs> oh, one down. Wait, did it hit us? No, one down. Oh, another one down. Oh, someone came to help. Ah, oh, yeah. Terran to the rescue. Oh, we're still in the war sector. Yeah, we're still in war sectors. That explains everything. I think we made it though. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. We made it. Hopefully. This is the um This is the our, uh, uh goner sector, I hope. Hopefully we don't get missiles spammed at us again. Oh boy. Elysium That's a fleet. That is definitely a fleet. Uh can we talk to um what's his face? I assume he's at the Goner you Temple. To the what who are we looking for anyways? Uh, in location. Oh. Oh no. We went right by him. He's in Heretic's End. Oh boy. So where the hell would he be in Heretic's End? Jump device charging at 10%. Oh boy, we're, um... 20, 30, 40... 50%. Elysium Light is also our sector. 80, 90, jumping. Good. Um, did not think that one through. I did not check the map and I did not check my briefing enough. I need to write down where these guys are. For sure. I need to start taking notes. Entering system. Heretics end. Orbital defense station. Orbital Defense Station. You are talking to the automate. And in Heretic Center, we're looking for Captain Robert Pearl. Solar Power Plant XL Alpha. You are talking. Okay, he's not there. Jump device charging at 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50%, 60, 70, 80, 90. The Terran people thank you for your help in eliminating this threat. I'm hoping he's at the solar power plant because I've wasted a lot of energy already. Entering system. Heretics end. Okay, just a single Nova, and there's a bunch of Pulse Terran fighter support. So. To the automated in you are talking to the automated. You are talking to the automated. You are talking to the automated. Poltergeist missile. Where is he? Argon. Nova. No aim. Is there a hint on his location? Uh, do do do. Ask uh, do do. Currently based in Heretic's End. We're in Heretic's End. Is he flying? Is he in a ship or something? Argon discoverer. <laughs> Argon 
gone. Discoverer. Target is now in firing range. Argon Buster. Argon Buster. No! Argon Buster. Argon Buster. Cargo Bay now contains Firelands Missile. Parentage ship up there. Poltergeist Missile. Target left firing range. Let's get close enough to that cam that carrier to see if it has a prompt for us. If not, we're just going to have to dock with that defense station, see if they're there. Or just start docking at random stations. Tehran, Tokyo. You are talking? Alright, so they're not there, so let's just try docking with the orbital, orbital defense, defense station. station. Yes. Yeah, I have no idea where this guy's going to be. There you go, autopilot. And I, I, I was almost positive that he was, he was supposed to be there. Because the Admiral Lady, she, when we calm the station, she appeared. Maybe we just have to dock at random stations in the sector and they'll get a hold of us. You know, we'll find out in, once we come into dock, whenever that is. There's the docking lights. And let's see if uh, the captain gets a hold of us. I think Captain Pearl was in this station before, so it makes sense he'd be here again. Successfully docked. Greetings, friend. We bid you a heartfelt welcome to this Terran station. Connection to local trading network established. Hiya! Welcome to the information station. Well, there's nothing there. Attention, security. We got a four, six, nine on level three in the plant room. Solar power plant XL Alpha. All right, let's head back over there and try and find <laughs> Captain Pearl wherever the hell he is or she is. Saber. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Where the hell could he be? There's supposed to be a trading station here that he spawns on, maybe? Successfully do connection to local. Actually, while I'm here, let's uh, buy some energy okay. cells. One explosive materials stocking granted. Autopilot activated. You are talking to the automated inter. What? You are talking to the automate. You are talking to the auto. Autopilot. So where? 
I'm sure I think there's a station missing. Well, we'll keep talking at stations till we fi figure out where we're supposed to go. Ranch. Uh, hmm. On the other hand, this is going to be the end of the episode. So the next episode, we'll have found Captain Pearl. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.